What's up, you guys? Avery here, and welcome to the top deck breakdown for YCS Charlotte. Be sure that you colossal titan smash that like button because we are out here working overtime to make sure that we get you this information. So let's start off with the top 32, then top 16 breakdown, and then we'll go into some deck lists. There are still some deck lists that I do not have. This is all coming from Carlancho store. So if you want the top flunder list and all that, I don't have that. Now shout out to Team Bortle because he is posting a lot of these top decks on his channel so be sure to go and check him out i'm hoping that he posts the flunder list i actually just left a comment on one of his videos asking if he has it um because you know i need it so that i can play test for a regional i haven't made but anyway besides the point um here's the top 32 breakdown so we've got 31 percent prank kid 16 percent tenny sword soul 16 percent eldritch jerome the man, the myth, the legend Adams, one of those pure Elder Lich builds. 13% Flunderies. I told y'all that this deck was tier 1. Some people were saying it's tier 2 and Rogue and all that stuff. I'm telling you, if you're not ready for this deck, it will pants you. Ending on Empen and Barrier Statue is so damn good. 9% Destiny Synchro Adventure, 6% Dogmatica, 3% Sky Striker, 3% Despia, and 3% Dragon Link. That all comes out to 10 Adventure Prank Kids, 9 of them Destiny Hero Engine, 5 Tenyi Sword Soul, 5 Eldritch, 3 with the Destiny Adventure, uh, well, 3 Destiny Adventure, and then there was 1 Cypress Eldritch, and then 4 Flunder, 3 Destiny Synchro Adventure, 2 Dogmatica, 1 Destiny Invoke, 1 Shadal, 1 Destiny Adventure Sky Striker, 1 Destiny Despia, and 1 Dragon Link. That's what all the percentages work out to. Now, moving on to top 16 is a little bit of a different story. You've got 19% Eldritch, 37% Prank Kids, 6% Dogmatica, and 6% with the Destiny Synchro Adventure Shadal shit the deck. 6% <laughs> Despia, uh, just, so it's just one. 13% Flunderies, and then 13% Tenyi Sword Soul. So that works out to everything being one, which would be Destiny, Despia, Destiny, Synchro Adventure, and Destiny, Dogmatic Unvoke. Take a shot every time I say Destiny, Jesus Christ. <gasps> three Eldritch, six Adventure Prank Kids, five of them running Destiny Hero Engine, uh, three Eldritch, one of them being a Destiny Adventure of Cybers, two Tenny Sword Soul, and two Thunderies. Now let's jump into some deck lists. So, well, that's your top eight, top four final pairings, and then all the different deck types. So Flunderies came in the top four, which that's the that's the build that I really want. Um, if we scroll through here, we see the top eight uh, build of Destiny, Despia. And really, this is interesting to see what the deck is doing pre-structure deck. And the fact that it came in top eight before the structure deck's even out. Um, you know, you're seeing two copies of Guardian Chimera, which will probably be a one of when the structure deck comes out. Two Masquerade of the Blazing Dragon, which is amazing for time. Um, I, I would love to play three Masquerade, but it really seems like it's overkill at three, uh, even with the structure deck. But Masquerade is just such a good card. Just every time the opponent wants to use a card effect, they gotta pay 600, pay 600, pay 600. Forget Cleave Force or pay 800, now it's pay 600. Of course, you're using the Fusion Destiny package because it's just good. Um, we're also packing in Mally's and uh, whatever that other Destiny hero is. Um, yeah, I, that's not something you see every day. But I guess since you know you're playing basically a dark deck with a small fright for engine, I, I guess it makes sense. Moving on along, we have Sean Washington with Ten Ye Sword Soul. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty standard. You've got your uh, Red Reboot in the side deck, which is cute. Uh, you got Talents in the main deck, which is a bit spicy. You've got Hand Traps out the ass. Like, what are we playing? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Imperm is 15 Hand Traps. What the fuck? In a 48-card main deck. So, the other 33 cards in your main deck aren't Hand Traps. Good God. What was the... the the deck for oh wow destiny destiny was 45 okay that's uh that's interesting also shared rides in this side deck here that's actually really cute um and ghost bells in the side a lot of people are starting to go to ghost bells now i'm noticing that is um that's rather spicy and then of course first place we've got elijah green with prank kids destiny hero adventure engine the deck um yeah i mean uh, it's it, the deck is good. You get rewarded for knowing the combos in and out. Droplets actually help save him in the finals against Jerome with Eldritch because uh, Jerome tried to attack with Golden Lord 
And in the damage step, Elijah flipped up his droplets, ditching an ogre that was just pretty much dead the whole game. And he was able to get rid of the Golden Lord. You know, droplets is a lot of money for a reason because it's such a great, versatile card. Token collectors and drolls, yep. And super polys are good even right now, and they're going to be be even better once the Albaz deck comes out. Standard 40 card build. And then you're looking at top 32 with Sky Striker Adventure. Huh! That is not something you see every day. So we're packing in the three Mystic Mine, and we're packing triple copies of Offering to the Doomed, or is it Tribute to the Doom? Anyway, uh, it's the it's the card you ditch it and then pop a monster on the opponent's field. It's one for one removal. That is really interesting. I mean. You know, it gets you your Enchantress in the grave, so, you know, you're not really losing any sort of advantage, and then you can just banish it and start your adventure plays. That's a really interesting tech. Um, I can't tell what card this is in the side. I think it's like Photon something. I, I don't want to give you the wrong information. I have no idea. Um, triple Evenly, Triple Super Polys. Uh, yeah, that that's pretty standard. Book of Moons, all that fun stuff. Um... This is really cool. I might have to test this out myself. That this is this is a cool build. Don't uh, don't ever discount Sky Striker. Um, shit's good. <laughs> and let's see. We've got third place here. This was the Cybers Eldritch deck. This was the one Cybers Eldritch variant. You know, I think what we really saw in this top four matchup when Elijah Green played against this guy, and then you look at Pure Eldritch with Jerome. Uh, the Pure Eldritch build can just grind better. It really can. I feel like you're really trying to combine uh, like oil and water in a deck like this. Not to say that it's bad. It's very good. You have the control aspect in the form of Golden Lord, and then you've got the aggro with the adventure engine and the um, cybers engine. But I feel when you get into those grind games, and if you look at game one, with Jerome and Elijah in the finals, and it was like 45 to 50 minutes long, you see where Eldritch can really grind well, especially when you put the deck in a competent player's hands. Um, it's it's still something that you need to watch out for, but you know when, when you're asking yourself, what should I play? I mean, I'd be going with pure Eldritch, not necessarily the Eldritch Cybers engine. Uh, and then top 32 is another Cyber Subledge, but I thought this was the only one. I apologize. There's actually two Cyber Subledge in the top, um, except this one's playing Illusion of Chaos, and this one's a 60-card build, whereas this one's 51. Okay, with two Verte. See, this is what I'm talking about. One Verte gets stopped, and then if you have enough room for a second copy, you can just play a second copy. That card needs to be fucking banned. Like, honestly. And then we got top 16. Uh, this was the other pure Eldritch build. Um, yeah. Gozen, Skill Drains, TC Boost, all the things that hurt meta decks. I, I hate playing against Eldritch because this deck just pushes my shit in as a Flunder player. Um, you know, they play against Flunder, it's pretty much an auto win. You, you out the barrier statue and proceed to set five and go. <laughs> um, and then we got Dragon Link here. Uh, Dragon Link does Dragon Link things uh, in a competent player's hands. It's a good deck. It's a really good deck. Don't ever discount uh, Dragon Link. Interesting to note, we got 3, 6, 9, 12 hand traps in a 40 card main deck. Triple goes in the side. That is, uh, that is the two words that you could take from YCS Charlotte is goes and match. Um, this card's starting to make a comeback. You, uh, you might want to brush up on your goes and match and rivalry of Warlord rulings because just blowout cards like goes in and rivalry are just so, so damn good. And then top 16, uh, was pile of cards, shit the deck. <laughs> um, but instead we're playing two copies of Mystic Mind, because Mystic Mind's just busted AF. Uh, two Illusion of Chaos, a shit ton of hand traps, because why not? <laughs> um, a Ghost Mourner in the side is really interesting. Seeing the return of Phantomaze is, is always cool to see, because, you know, if you're not prepared for Phantomaze, and you're just popping off like crazy with links, Phantomaze can really sneak up on you and, uh, drop a dookie on your board and let you draw a bunch of cards, and especially in a 60 card deck, you want to draw all those cards. So guys, that is all of the deck lists I have right now. I'm really hoping I'll be able to get some other ones like the Flunder list. I really want to know what that Flunder list was in top four so I can learn how I need to build my deck. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.